perfect. Sun's waking up. Was it? The game's waking out. Seizure warning. Boots stuck, but your foot shouldn't be. You could be able to slip your foot out. I was stuck on that plank for a moment. I can definitely use this bad boy. Come on, Max! Hurry! Shit, I can't budge it at all. Please. Use the crowbar, come on. Rewind to give yourself more time. Yeah, in a minute. Nope. This is not that one. Middle car. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. The coming. Back, okay, uh, what can I slice with this? It's always the red wire. Now that's the right cable. Yes! I did it! You okay? You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It no. was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. It's like, God damn it, Chloe. Why is everything trying to kill you? She's supposed to be dead, that's why. <laughs> it's the butterfly effect. Like... She's supposed to die. She was supposed to die that time, and like because she didn't, now everything's trying to kill her. Right on time. They're trying to keep things in balance. With me. But because she's alive, everything is just thrown out of balance. We predicted the ending Listen, already. Your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. And because Max is not allowing anyone to die, the tornado is coming to kill just everyone. You're like, fuck <laughs> you! Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. It's like if, if Max was you back like in chaos. Seattle, the tornado would instead be in Seattle. And whoever. Yeah. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Like, how many times have we saved Chloe already? Was that twice already? I mean, technically three times if you make her shoot the wrong target and make her kill herself. That's right. I feel like it's been more than that. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? 
like I would miss it. I have Justin always it. looks down. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. There's plenty to be scared of when you aren't doing an investigative report on a on a gun. It's like if schools it's, actually take that shit seriously nowadays. Like yeah, if you go report to the principal, like I saw a student carrying a gun, it's like they would call the cops and get like investigators on the yeah. case. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Anyone who is a Prescott or owned by a Prescott? Trevor surveys his domain. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Maybe. I told Dana I wasn't gonna be there, so I mean... That snow was so insane. Seriously. I can't talk to him. Hello, climate change. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. It's like their eyes travel everywhere. Hey, Courtney. Ciao. Really? Oh. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I what? need your advice on what to wear. Their eyes looking exactly. everywhere except you. you know yeah. It's like half the time they're half baked I'll anyway. Put you down on the guest list <laughs> the party. I can give you Everyone's time. stoned. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. It's like I see some people like I read some comments on some other videos, like people are like, Yeah, there's some People that don't take this game seriously, it kind of makes me sad. It's like, it's kind of hard to, like, not notice all the things that go on. Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. It's obvious he's, he's hiding something. Obviously. But uh I still have time. 
I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. What? Going back to that, like, I'm sure this game was built on a budget. Well, yeah. I'm sure, you know, obviously their last game didn't do as well as they had hoped. Yeah, this game and Remember Me are, like, two of Don't Not Entertainment's only games that I know of. Yeah. Even on their wiki page, it says that these are their only games. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I know other games do this t style of game too, but it's obvious they're trying to go a different approach with the way that Telltale has some success with their own games. Well, I mean, not all of Telltale games were successful, I mean, other than like... Yeah, but of recent year. Yeah. Like, not a lot of people like the Jurassic Park game, not a lot of people like the Back to the Future game, or the CSI, I think. One of their better ones was, um... How's your campaign going? What was it? You signed the petition, now it's your The Tales from Monkey Island. More people would rather send a text than sign up. Which is kind of weird because I'm waiting for the That's next installment on that because the way that ended will, no was very open to a um. No, I really hope you keep those cameras. Uh, over Blackwell. sequel. Yeah, to a sequel to another game. Yeah. Just this way, I don't think is happening until they clear their schedule. The photos I want to take. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I'm trying to remember the last time I played. Tales from Monkey Island, like the first time I got it. I think I got it like in 2010. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. 2010 or 2011, one of those years. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. But yeah, unlike some of the other Telltale games, Tales from Monkey Island allowed for a player to like explore all the dialogue options that were given to the player. To, to Guybrush Threepwood. What about that snow yesterday? Whereas the newer games are basically, this is it. It's set in stone. This is your option. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I, I mean, which is kind of good because it like it gives it more replay replayability for one thing, and two, like everybody's. Everybody's uh, game is like slightly different in one way or another. Yeah. Think, big brain. Think. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. This She's all jacked up hard. about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him. I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but don't let me get in your way. So long. Totally jealous. You know she's jealous. Bring me the brain. Couldn't I take a picture of this? Nope. Oh, that's right. Okay, I get it now. I remember. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I have a vision. go -dium. go -dium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn, zip, nothing, nada. Hi again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Max. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions, ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Green. Go on, Max. We'll talk. There are fish over here. Can I interact with them? Oh, I can. 
I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Touch it. Or nothing will happen at all. <laughs> if I recall, they said like the uh, glass is kind of reflective in that it's a t uh, was it one way mirror almost? Mm hmm. Like. That'll actually like reflect for the fish and not for you. Oh. When the water is submerging them. Oh, I don't know. Hey, Warren. Hexel. Asking. Have that. Chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Look into it. Take a whiff. Go ahead. Eureka! You Just... got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. That chlorine gas. Can I talk to him again? Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full on geek mode. Check out the big brain on Max. You might be the next Heisenberg of Blackwell. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. What do you want from me? Can't talk to her. Which is kind of sad. <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't even think you can go out the door to follow her. Yeah, no. You shall not pass. Because of game mechanics. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <laughs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Yeah, take Always a picture. take the shot. My number one rule of photography. Like... Hey, Max? It doesn't let you I keep that photo. By the fact. Oh, no. It's like you have to choose one or the other, and I'm like... It's great that I can, like, apparently pick up items, rewind time, and still keep that item, but I can't keep a photo. Okay. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Sure. Ho he. Okay. Hmm? Oh, ho he. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm -hmm. He has a very okay. serious conversation going that. on, apparently. <laughs> oh, 
I know. Like, if you wait here long enough, he actually has, like, some very terse words. Mm -mm. Seriously, I have to hang up now. I, I think it's, like, one of the last That's things honestly. before he uh, starts to loop. We'll talk later, okay? I have to go. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Yeah, that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Both. 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 Tina. Last photo. photo. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I love Taylor? You look like an asshole. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Obviously. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Okay. Life. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? No time to talk, Max. Oh, I'm Art sure progress. she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody Look at does. Him. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. I can't believe the principal lets him stay in school after I told him what happened. I feel so awkward after bagging on Victoria yesterday. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And Just punch him in the face. Look how tiny he is. Or I get nasty. Punch her in the face. She's also tiny. Oh, burn. Just That's pull out your pen and stick it in their face, then rewind, then stick it in the face again. <laughs> Instant gratification three times over. In fact, shit's just I mean, like, look, he's right there. He's offering his face. Do you see how close he is? And you can you can literally just no I don't think I can do it right now because things are happening. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Yeah, it's like there's no way to take a picture of him taking a fo photo of her. Yeah, I don't... I don't get that. Like, yeah, I don't think there's, like, anything that I could do. Except have him go back. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm kind of just stalling now. <laughs> just go, shit, here he comes, rewind! <laughs> what up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people... No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. People... No! <laughs> <laughs> it's something she wants to get so they never take a good look at themselves. Yep. 
We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max I guess Kate will miss class now. Who I know can't I'm worried you. about her. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. It's like you have to like keep doing this over and over again until something die. happens. I did a lot of things similar to how I did it my first playthrough, so we'll see how this goes. Sounds wigging out. Keep going, Max. You can do it. I don't think I can actually use RT to make her go faster, so we're stuck at this speed, which is fun. Why are there pigeons out in the rain? They would have been long gone by now. Yeah, they would have. Hey, look, there's Nathan to your far left. I wonder if, like, hang on. What is he doing? Are you sure that's, no, that's Nathan? I him. think that's Trevor. That's Trevor. He's over there. Oh, what? Where? Right there. Here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can stick a pen right up his ass. He looks like he's enjoying this. Like he's enjoying what's happening right now. You see that stupid smile on his face? Yeah. What a sociopath. to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't In the come form near of me. a question? I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate. Please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. 
It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. Of course. Like I said this morning, I think Nathan is involved. I just need time to prove it. And I have a way with time. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. 
I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Fuck Nathan. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I have the power. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. Now, I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
Wow, so that ending bit just kind of like seems to confirm that there's some like weird sicko out there. Granted, you do remember that David was taking pictures of her as she was leaving. Yeah. So it's like, David's a prime suspect. You can't really rule out Samuel either, and like, obviously Nathan's just a big old dick weasel, but... Mm hmm. From the sounds of it, his family just like, kind of like, recently bought Arcadia Bay, and that guy has multiple files. Yeah. Like, that's what the ending looks like. I, I think all those files are, like, girls that have, like, gone missing or committed suicide or... Yeah. Whatever. My idea is that maybe David's trying to help, but he's not really going outwardly helping. He's not, like, good at what he's... Like, he's trying to be, like, subtle about it, but like, his years and... The army, like, e even you, you were in, like, the military and they, like, trained you to do, like, what, uh, interrogation and stuff. Yeah. And that's probably, like, where he has it. Yeah, it's, I think he's trying to, like, piece it all together because, like, obviously, like, you can't trust a lot of other people that are, like, either paid off by the Prestons or the Prescotts. Uh, Are they gonna throw us a, cor a curveball and all of, like all of this was Warren? <laughs> I don't think it's Warren though. No. I just feel kind of bad that like a lot of these characters, the sub characters especially, have like their own little tropes or their stereotypes that they fit into. Oh, very strong stereotypes, yeah. And that's kind of what I think a lot of other people had issue with this. Is like a lot of characters didn't really feel fleshed out. They're very flat. Yeah. Like that, like they fit the description of what a flat character is. It's like they're very one dimensional. And I mean, you kind of saw it with their last game too in Remember Me. Like well, a, lot of the, a lot of the characters were very flat. You didn't really get to know them well enough. Yeah. They were introduced and then they were tossed to the sideline very quickly. Well, I think the difference is, is like for, um, for this game, you're just kind of thrown into the setting, so it kind of would make sense. Like apparently, this person's been at that place for like a month, mm -hmm. but she doesn't really interact with everybody. So like there, there's that. It's like even when you get to talk to people, some of them seem better than others, but. Comparing this to Remember Me, I think this one's a step up above Remember Me, because Remember Me had everything to make it a decent enough game, character-wise and gameplay-wise, but it wasn't. It focused too much on the action, which ended up becoming so repetitive you didn't want to play it. Oh, I mean, yeah, you sat there with me. Like, the it was just these... I was literally like, these battles are taking too stupidly long. Yeah. And, like, now that they're focusing more on the characters, like, they still need to touch up a little bit better on, like, their character writing. I mean, their main character has the same face model as Nillin, if that, if that tells you anything. And what we think is the same, like, sort of walk-running animation. The same rig. The same animation rig. Yeah, they're still using the same skeleton model for her, too. But... If you were going to say voice actor, I was going to be like, no. <laughs> no, not voice actor. I mean, like, granted, the voice actors did a pretty good job. Like, you can tell they put a lot of emotion into their voice acting. For Remember Me or this game? Because this, this game. game is kind of iffy. It's it's definitely a lot Some better of it's than a little awkward. other games. But yeah, I, I see where you're coming from, yeah. But... Yeah, in terms of characters, like, they're still, like, flat, one-dimensional characters for the most part, but they are definitely more interesting than the characters of Remember Me. Yeah. And even with Max, like, she's more interesting than Nillin. Yeah. Because, like, we're supposed to know about Nillin to make an, an emotional connection with her, and they failed us on that. Because like, she has the amnesia, we don't get to know her all that well. And like what is supposed to be like a really strong emotional emotion emotional emotional moment in Remember Me 
wasn't because we didn't know Nilin. Like, there's no emotional connection to Nilin to make that part in the game something that I should be like, oh, holy shit. Oh my god, this is so riveting and like, I can't believe that this is... Like, when you look at it, it's just like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> The amnesia shouldn't have wiped out her personality as well. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, it's like, maybe you could, not not even, even you could, like, maybe you could, but sure, you could develop a new personality, and it's like, once you're, like, slowly piecing the pieces together of, like, your old life, it's like, whoa, whoa, time out. <laughs> like, this is who I was in the past. We, we don't even get that much in Remember Me, but... Honestly, this isn't about Remember Me. This is about Life is Strange. Yeah. But, We're, but yeah, Final Verdict, this is a, a lot better than the last project they did. Which was produced by Capcom instead of Square Enix. Yeah. I think Capcom was like, no. <laughs> no more. Because, like, Remember Me was pretty bad. Yeah. I think its Metacritic score is, like, 70. I mean, like, its Metacritic score isn't bad, but... I still, I still say it's a bad game. But I mean, I guess, to be fair, they are kind of just getting out there. They have two games so far, and this one is more fulfilling and rewarding than Remember Me, so I, I'm kind of hoping, like, Don't Nod does better in the future, like, you know, both games aren't super terrible. Not like some games I can You can mention. only learn from your successes and failures. Yeah. But, yeah, here are all my options. And it uh, looks like for one of these, I'm grossly in the minority. And that's to tell Kate to go to the police. Which is fair, because, like, a decent police station should have a date rate kit, and not only does it check for sexual assault, they also check for drugs in your blood system. Mm-hmm. So, that should have been a thing. And there's all of these, which, for a majority of these, I look like I'm in the my... Actually, for all of these, no. The one for Warren is in the minority. Why, why is that in the minority? <laughs> is it... Did they forget that Warren was like a thing? That they just forget to go to the science class? Because I can believe that. Is maybe the, they yeah, just they probably just forgot to like go to the teacher. I guess they figured if you add just a lot of potassium or whatever, they're like, oh yeah, that's fine. That works for him. She blinded me with science. But yeah, that was that was the playthrough, and here are my um my things, and um, oops. And watch the trailer for the next episode. The very short trailer. But, uh, yeah, that was episode two with Free J Fly and Mirden B. And, um, hopefully you liked this, um, this series of Life is Strange with, with us. And we are gonna go into episode three completely blind. Um, just absolutely blind. We're not gonna watch anybody else's playthroughs. We're not gonna play through it first. We're going to do it 100% blind and see how that goes and what options we should, or what options we feel are the best to take when playing that one. So, in the meantime, I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, wonderful whatever it is, and the both of us will hopefully see you when episode 3 comes out, or if you decide to actually subscribe in some, something that I will upload one day. <laughs> so, uh, see you later. Bye! Later.